Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Briar Hengdahl Windwalker. I recently saw a conversation on a, a, a Buddhist discussion board and it reminded me of one of the reasons why sometimes people don't like Buddhists. I know that's hard to believe, but it, it does happen. We, we manage to offend people here and there. And they were talking about the subject of compassion and action in compassion. And someone I'm sure very well-intentioned posited the kind of standard response that well, since all realities are subjective and this person is suffering, but it's not really suffering because it's just their mind, they're just as well where they are. So we'd be better not to interfere and change the path that they may be on in their karmic journey or some such. So to think about that and about that action and about compassion, I'm thinking actually about the section of the Noble Eightfold Path and, and where it goes, Shila, morality, or, or as I prefer, virtue. So a story. Tanzan and Akito, two monks, are traveling down a muddy road in the rain. And they come around a corner, a bend in the road, and it's still raining, and there's this beautiful young woman in a silk kimono and sash standing off the side of the intersection, unable to figure out how to cross this muddy, wet road. So Tanzan immediately picks her up and says, come here, girl, carries her across the mud, puts her down, and the monks continue on their journey. Makito doesn't speak for the rest of the day as they're traveling until that night when they get to a lodging temple. And then he bursts out and he says, we monks are not even supposed to touch a woman. It is dangerous, especially a lovely young woman. Why did you do that? Tanzan says, I left her there by the side of the road. Are you still carrying her? So what is right action, right speech, right action, right livelihood, virtue? This is a question we've been asking of ourselves, of each other, throughout the history of Buddhism, other religions. In the Dhammapada, Buddha gives the instruction to cease from evil, to do good, and to purify the heart-mind. This is the teaching of the Buddhas. And we're really good at talking about the cease from evil part. That's, that's the common construct in all religion. We're, we're really good at thou shalt not. Whether we actually obey it or not is a separate issue, but we always talk about thou shalt not. We're not very good at the thou shalt. And I think it's really important that that's mentioned in the Buddha section of the Dhammapada and that it is carried forth. Nowadays, many schools of Zen incorporate some variant of that as what is called the three pure precepts. It's often translated a little bit differently. Sometimes the third one, instead of purify the mind or the heart, is save the many beings, although one could argue that that's do good. But the point is that it's not just cease from evil, it's do good. The point is, as Thich Nhat Hanh instructed, engaged Buddhism. What is doing good? What is going out? What is acting as a Buddha acts? 
acting from compassion, not just bearing witness from compassion, but to act, to teach, to help. We often forget about that part, the thou shalt, the thou shalt have compassion, thou shalt have sympathetic joy, thou shalt save the many beings. When the emperor spoke with Bodhidharma and said, I've built temples and ordained monks and, and given sacrifices and had ceremonies, what merit have I attained? Bodhidharma said, no merit. And again, this gets misinterpreted. It's not that as practitioners, there's nothing to doing good. It's that the emperor was doing something for merit. That's not doing good. That was an investment. The emperor wanted to be told that he had gained merit. He wanted his ego soothed that he had done good. He wanted to be praised for the temples and the ordinations. No merit. There was an ulterior motive. There was something other than doing good. Doing good is because to do good is the way of the Buddha. That is the action of the Buddha. That is the teaching of the Buddha. Cease from evil, do good. Purify the heart mind. This is the teaching of the Buddha. There is no sitting as a stone. There is no just witnessing the world. If we don't do good, we are not acting as a Buddha. And then we are not engaging the Buddha essence. <clears throat> 